Hello and welcome, Paulie here and I'm playing Skyrim Special Edition and this is Karanak and Lydia. Now we are going to make our way up the steps to High Hrothgar where we are going to have an audience with the Greybeards with any luck. And uh, yeah, but uh, first we have 7,000 steps to contend with so I am going to trot my ass up this hill. Gotta level up my block as well, you know. Let him give them hits in. Oh. Thanks, Lydia. Thanks. It's fine. Get my block leveled up and then I can uh, unlock some new skills. Blocking is definitely one of my favorite abilities in this game. Or well, not blocking, but like the shield bash and stuff. I use it all the time. I think that's just from playing like Floris, you know, Mountain Blade with the shield bash. So. Run, Rams, run! Oh, they clashed. They clashed. Anyway, I am just going to get my arse up this hill. I forget how long it takes. I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't care. I don't want to stop him. I don't want to talk to him. I just want to keep going. Have the rocky music playing. You hit the very top. Just get my block up, you know. Yeah, she's gonna kill it. Come on, there we go. Oh god. Ho oh, ho, that's actually close. I probably should put one perk into restoration just so I can, you know, heal myself and do double that healing. That is definitely not a bad idea, but I did level block. So does deflect... Okay, so there's three perks here that I desperately want. Deflect arrows, so if they hit the shield they do no damage. Time slows down if you're blocking during an enemy's power attack and able to do a power bash. I'm going to go with this one because when time slows down, I am very easily able to sidestep any enemy attacks. So if someone like tries to, you know, if someone tries to uh, hit me with like a two handed axe or sword or mace, I can dodge it, which is incredible. It's also very useful if you're using a two-handed weapon because, you know, you obviously can't see, like, you see that? I barely sidestepped and I dodged it. That's why I love it. So that is a very, very useful skill to have. Very useful indeed. I do need to get some jewelry though, that's going to increase my, you know, when time slows down and stuff. Now I do have to be careful coming up here because there is a ice troll if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of unforgiving really because you're not, I mean when you start playing this you are not, I mean if you go straight here you follow the quest and you go straight here, like you don't spend a few hours leveling up. This troll is quite a handful to deal with because it does damage. I still never quite understood, you know, why, but if you have that skill I just picked up, that perk, well, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Anyway. This is a nice, a nice, nice le leisurely stroll up the 7,000 steps. Where we're going to hear some story and uh, get trained. We'll jump into the Civil War as well. God, this game is beautiful. Don't know why I'm getting stuck a bunch. That's new. 
So remember that troll I was talking about? He sleeps right. And the sneak attack did nothing. Get my archery up at least. See, if he was fighting me, I could dodge it easier. In fact, Lydia's gonna be in trouble. Block him so we can't do that. Oh, 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 you're down, you're down and out. Oh, there we go. Kill move. Kill move, saved you, Lydia. You didn't see what happened, I just took it down. You almost had you. I dived in there, saved your life. You're welcome. I may have to increase the difficulty, I don't know. We'll see. Although it just feels kind of boring because every, you know, you're basically slashing away just trying to chip down its health rather than any meaningful combats like uh, Mountain Blade where it's only a few hits to kill someone. This would be, you know, 20 hits. So I don't think that necessarily translates to better, you know, viewing experience, but we'll see. my shoulder clipping through my uh, armor there. Game is literally unplayable. I don't know if I want power bash next or deflect arrows because there's quite a few arrow users and being able to block them would be nice. Because instinctively I always raise my shield so Might not be a bad idea. You know, it kind of occurs to me. I always get high def texture mods when I mod Skyrim. I don't know why. Skyrim, to me, is a very beautiful game. I mean, even if people say that, you know, the texture is a horrible the game, looks old and outdated, same with the Fallout series. I don't see it. I see a beautiful game. I find the visuals of. Skyrim and Fallout more pleasing than, say, Witcher 3, but again, everyone's got their own personal taste. Um, Dragon's Tongue, I'll take that. I probably shouldn't be taking their offerings, actually, and they probably can see me. If they can shout across the world to wherever I was, then they could probably see me nicking stuff. Security cameras and whatnot, you know, that dragon technology. For this, I'm going to take off my hat because, you know, let's not be rude. One thing I normally do is I always have my helmet bound to one of the buttons, but in this case, I've got my shield there. With that said, I'm going to move my shield to six and helmet to eight. So now I can take it off. Yes. Look at that. Hmm, I look good. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Yes. We will see if you truly have the gift. Oh shit, I've got the gift. Yes, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I completely forgot I could shout. Oh well. Um. Shout at us. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I like how I can just like shout at them, like send them like staggering back and like knock all over their pots and they don't mind. tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? What do you mean why have I come here? You summoned me. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. 
whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Yeah. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is Something for the DLC? Hmm? You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice Boost! into a boom, <laughs> a shout. <laughs> now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Yes. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Both Reinhardt will now teach you roll, the second word in unrelenting force. Why, you even got it named? Balance. Neat. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharper. Roll. Quick, someone give me a soul. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Yeah, I'm pretty After awesome like that. Initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. I swear he's just making this shit up as we go. It sounds like it. Maybe this guy's a dragon. Okay, how quickly I can do it. Alright, I'm going pretty quick here. I've already got it. I've already got it, mate. Ready? 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 Oh, yeah. Let's see, what, what else can I move? Oh. Nice. Give me another one, quick. <laughs> I really shouldn't laugh at that, but it's so hilarious. I want to see my character do it. Oh, I should have done that. Oh well. Can I go kill dragons now? We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Just saying, since you haven't done introductions, it's really hard to know who is who. I'm assuming this geezer, this fella, this chap. Just waiting for him, you know. Okay, let's learn some new skills. By all means, please take your time. God, don't be sick. Lydia, are you okay? She coughed. Oh, damn. I, I can't even tell if it's upside down or not. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay. That's good to know. That would be embarrassing if I was. Alright, give me a dragon essence. 
as bad as that sounds. Oh god, that almost killed him. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we need to, uh... Whirlwind. Oh, is this where he does it and it looks hilarious? I already know it, mate. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Your quick mastery of a new film is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You You're just jealous. For your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. We're gonna go and find this thing, and I'm gonna fast travel, because, you know, why not? So, we do need to go all the way over here. Now, I am basically gonna drop myself off at Western Watchtower, and we're gonna travel. A bit of a journey. I probably should go back to, uh, Windhelm, Whiterun, and get rid of some of this junk I have, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere to do it. Hell, I'm not even going to wear my helmet because it's a nice sunny day, and yeah. With that said, my carry weight is rising dramatically, and I am probably going to make a stop at this place here to see what kind of shenanigans I can get up to. Okay, let's put our helmet on. This is our war helmet. When we go to war, the helmet goes on. Like a good soldier. Like, I'm only walking the road. Are you gonna, really going to come out and attack me? You can do that, but be warned. I take no prisoners. Maybe we can at least clear the outside. You telling me to back off, mate? You telling me? Let's get him, Lydia. God damn it, Lydia. Missed him, damn it. Oh, my God, where's that arrow? <laughs> Okay, it, it, it's fine. It just hit my uh, the nose guard on my helmet. This is why you wear a helmet. That is exactly why we wear a helmet. Because if not, you get arrows through your face. So, anything good? Not really. Few bits of gold. Lydia is actually just killing everyone, and I'm sort of like her companion. That's kind of how this story goes. Like Lydia is really the hero. And she doesn't seem to die, which is kind of cool. Kind of.
I should... I'm gonna take that just because I want to break it down. The rest of this place seems fairly safe. Now ain't this a surprise? Go Try and fight back. Oh damn, he didn't stand a chance. Good stuff. So there are things inside here that we probably should go and murder. So now that this area is clear. I am going to head, I'm thinking I'm going to head back to Whiterun, sell what I've got, then we'll come back here and just, you know, cleanse this place. Anyway, thank you for watching and join me next time.